Hospitals across the state are in crisis as they battle COVID. Some hospitals are out of ICU beds. Others are close to capacity. Team 12's Josh Sanders is here with more on this growing concern. Arizona hospitals bracing for the coming weeks as COVID-19 fallout continues after Thanksgiving. Now more than 28,000 hospitalized, more than 7,000 dead. I have one available ICU bed, which means I'm at 98% capacity this morning. Valleywise, the state's largest public health provider, struggling to find staff to meet rising cases. I would like to have a buffer. I would like to have increased capacity to make sure we're ready. Banner Health adding 2,000 seasonal staff with 400 openings still left to fill. Chief Clinical Officer Dr. Marjorie Bessel says they are currently treating 50% of the state's cases. We continue to expand our staffing because our occupancy does continue to rise. And at Yuma Regional Medical Center, more than half of their ventilators in use. A letter from their president and CEO to community members describing a dire reality, bringing on 30 additional staff, but saying, quote, seasonal staff have been more difficult to recruit as our nation's healthcare system faces the COVID-19 crisis. And that right now, Yuma is over two times higher than national average of cases per 100,000. Hospitals agree the state needs to do more when it comes to mitigation efforts. And Dr. Bessel with Banner Health says as of this morning, they've received none of that $60 million of funding Governor Ducey announced last week to help hospitals hospitals hire staff in the coming weeks. We're in downtown Phoenix, Josh Sanders, 12 News.